Alrighty, my friends, here we go. Plenty of stay down. Let's random and see what we get next. So, random ship in three, two, one, and random. Stealth C, we have done. No repeats. Three, two, one, random. We just did Lane USA. Random. We've done all of the rock ships. Random. All rock, random. All right. It is a boarding ship. And it is the Crystal D. Honestly, I think this might be the strongest boarding ship in the game. Uh, even though it doesn't start with a weapon, Crystal crew are really good boarders. <laughs> And I know I have YouTube requests for uh, boarding crew, so I'm probably not going to get any Twitch requests in. Sorry, chat. Um, Hope wanted to be a crystal boarder from, like, months ago. And this is, like, the only ship that has them. So, um, uh, Hope. All right, let's see. I can finally cross some off the list that I have had on here forever, probably, with this ship. No Mantis border here. Um, let's see here. Actually, is that is that all the specific crystal requests I have? I think. Uh, okay, I got that crystal crew one done. All right. Actually, I might have more crew available than I thought here. All right. So who? Oh my God! These requests are just nonstop. Um, Gian Lag, you can have one of them. Uh, let's see who else. Hooray! I don't, I don't know which which of these are actual requests or not. So, uh, okay, I think I don't even know. Uh, people are just putting random things. I guess I'm gonna put in powers on the ship. I don't know. People are putting random crap. In the, uh, I need to have a different thing to just highlight my message that's not re requests. Okay, uh, so this ship. This ship is an interesting one. Starts with no weapons. Um, I say it's a very strong boarding ship because lockdown ability is insanely strong. What is the danger on this ship? Losing crew to bad micro. I, I lost a run to venting my entire ship one time and screwing something up. Um, I don't know if Diamond was requesting a crew or not. I don't know. There's so many things in chat. Uh, if if I had a mod here who could help me keep track of this, that would be wonderful. Um, so we can board. We can board auto scouts, but we can't kill auto scouts because we can like board them, kill their weapons. And they live, and we live long enough that if they take out my teleporter or something, we should be able to repair it in time. And we can cloak, not drop the crew. Um, Gamba's not happen. Can is there? Is there a mod who can please do the gambling so I don't have to do all of the bonus stuff? I just want to. I just want to focus on the game right now. We'll just wait till I get extra crew. Okay. Alright, if somebody can do the, the prediction. Oh god, first shrimp solar flare with... An auto assault. This is shitty. This is like, worst effing first jump, I feel like. Because we can't gain scrap. If I board and solar flare kills my teleporter, I'm effed. Alright, I don't know if anybody's doing the prediction, so I guess... Oh, somebody did. Okay. I think I just cloak and run away, right? I just run to engines and cloak and run away. Okay, beam drone. Uh, I'm gonna prevent cloaking. I might need to repair that. God, if the solar flare hits my shields or something. God, and, and this is like the shittiest thing too, because these guys suck at putting out fires, and now I won't be able to see it. It's in my... I can't see it. It's in an empty room. 
I can't see it, it's in an empty room. I have all my empty rooms taken care of, okay. All right, all right. I think we're okay. Can I get out before the next solar flare, please? Yes, we can, okay. Okay. All right, shitty first jump. Do I even go into the nebula? Yeah, I guess so. You'd board if it was a combat drone? Okay. Their drone took damage. Solar Flare was actually helpful there. Nice. We can't risk crew, right? On a boarding ship, manly search is just way too risky. One in five to lose crew. Of all of them, not on this one. Yeah. Honestly, not a very good start on this ship. Okay, a free border is amazing though. That is good. That is good. Now, do I want a three-man board? You just heard me sing in Hollywood with the group. That was awesome. And also hilarious coming from the stream. Nice. Avalanche, welcome. Okay. I think we want a three-man board still. Uh, Cantonen, you can't be that because we already have, like, five people in line, I think. So, what is it? Diamond Hands, I think? Oh, sorry, Cantonen. Diamond Hands. And I think there might have been other people. I don't know. Kind of like watching stand-up Bob Saget, then going to f binging Full House. <laughs> so, there's no reason to fight this guy. So we're going to try to get to the space station with cloaking. And we get the best boarding support weapon, except that I have zero missiles. But still, holy crap. Okay. Um, now, what do we do? Because I have no missiles. Do we want second shield on this ship? I have a store coming up. Um, Cantonon and Zackdog are now on the list. Okay, thank you for tracking that, Burger. Um, do I save for the store? Because getting some missiles seems pretty good. Or do I get the shield value point? If I get a, if, if I get a free shield hack fight with offensive drones and weapons, that's the worst thing, right? And shield hack... Uh, level 2 shields doesn't actually protect us from that. <laughs> Definitely want shield value. The store is worth it just to sell the Super Crystal Vengeance. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> so I fought... So far, Sector 1, I've seen three ships. Two of, two of them have been fucking auto ships, and the third one has had fucking Zoltan shields, man. Fuck you, FTL. All right, another ship I have to run away can do jack shit against. <laughs> okay, can work out when to cloak. Uh, okay, this is every nine, this is every what? 14, 18, 28, the third one maybe? I think it's the third one. Third heavy laser, okay. What a shitty sector one, man. Boarding ship with no weapons, and we're getting fucking non-stop ships that we literally cannot get onto their ship without dying. Crystal Vengeance, Assault and Shield. No thanks. <laughs> this is a great start still, you think? Now, the shield hack event can happen in any civilian sector. 
It's just most damaging in Sector 1. Alright, Self Crystal Vengeance, get third, sh uh, second shield, I guess. I think we have enough for that. Do we do that and do we buy missiles, chat? Do we buy missiles? Is it worth buying missiles? Shield hack cannot happen at any time. It can only happen in civilian sectors. Buy a burst laser 2. There wasn't a burst laser for 2 sale, was there? It's a burst laser 1 and a chain laser. I'm not buying any of those. We're a boarding ship. We have triple crystal mantis. I'll get missiles soon enough. You don't think I need to buy them? Okay. Burst laser 1 to kill auto scouts. I mean, what... <sighs> what about burst laser 1 just to shoot down Zoltan shields? Is there Zoltan shield bypass? There's not. Zoltan shields and the ability to kill auto scouts is an interesting idea for burst laser instead of shields. Burst laser one doesn't let you shoot down Zoltan shields, so you spend another 40 scrap anyway. Hmm. And it's got to be just this, right? We get f missiles from fast from crew killing anyway. Okay. All right, let's go with this. Let's go with this. And hope I get, you know, two ships I can actually board and kill this sector since I've seen zero so far. Maybe I should have bought fuel, honestly, of all things. As long as I don't kill them all, that's literally the only thing I can do. You stupid, stupid game. Um, Can we do this by... We'd have to damage their ship enough to trigger the... To trigger the surrender offer. So... Uh, depending on the ship, we, we probably board weapons and make the fight safe. I have to run around crew. Depends on how safe the fight is, honestly, if I want to do all the micro required to probably do this. If the fight's safe, we'll do the finicky thing. If it's missiles, I don't know if I will. We've seen literally zero ships that I can fucking board so far this sector. It's fucking game, man, I swear. <sighs> training ship, yeah, training ship. This is absolute BS, man. Two ships with Zoltan Shields in Sector 1. Like, I feel like that is as unfucking lucky as I could be. Am I am I crazy? It's a win-win. You can't kill their friends and they can't kill you. Jesus Christ. If we bought missiles, we got through Zoltan Shields. Only if we hit every time when we bought, like, four. I think it takes three minimum to get through. Yeah, I'm gonna cross train everything. It's effing stupid fight, but I'm gonna just cross train everything. It's okay, even though we're missing all these fights. I hope so. It feels really shitty to have five ships that I've seen this run and not be able to kill a single one. It just feels really shitty. Gotta move. Triggers look past how it feels and see how it is. Yes. You had a sector two like this earlier today, not one ship fight. A couple of events that got you scrap at least, but not much. You built a ship like this as an NPC ship, okay. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Level in the crew just zoom when you move them on speed hack. Yeah. Well, I guess we're just gonna be here for a while. Any story times? Any anybody got any topic for story time? Cause I'm bored and pissed off about Sector One right now. Yeah, I know. I gotta get Zen. I gotta get Zen and patience and all that. Okay, shields are done. Why did I play so fast on Friday? Um, because we were testing tournament score and I thought speed would improve my score. I mean, we waited the formula slightly more towards time. That's, that's kind of why I did it. I felt with the way we weighted the scores that trying to play fast is the way to maybe have a chance. You can't bend the Zoltan Shield. The trick is to realize there is no Zoltan Shield. Favorite cult classic movie? Um, since I don't watch a lot of movies these days, it'd have to be one from my, when I watched movies a lot as a kid. So probably if I had to choose like Princess Bride, I don't know if that's a cult classic, Three Amigos, um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Those are probably three of my favorites. I don't know if it's a cult classic, but like the movie I say is my favorite when I talk about favorite movie is The Truman Show. I played fast because I had a sexy party to go to. Totally, that's why. Tell us about FTL lore. I'm not talking about lore. <laughs> what is the formula? There is a Discord and a spreadsheet for that, I, I believe. UHF, there you go. UHF is on that list. Princess Bride counts as cult classic. All right. There's the only way I could possibly do this is if I take a bunch of shots to get through Zoltan's shield. Is it ever worth taking damage? Is it ever worth taking damage? Use. Oh, I stole Crystal Vengeance. Never mind. I can't do that. What am I talking about? I already did. I already. Stop. Stop making up crap that we can't do. Do I play board games? No, not really. I pretty much only play video games. I'm kind of a degenerate. I'm kind of a degenerate. Look at all these ship fights left behind we can't fight. All right, seven, six, five, four, three. Three. Four. Okay, I guess I can do that, right? What about The Last Jedi? Worst movie ever, and I know you're trolling. Okay, all right. Uh, Jesus, is he gonna have? Is this a beam master and a and an ion pulsar? I think it is. And it wouldn't be worth it even if we still had crystal vengeance. Okay, you're true. It's not gu even guaranteed when you take damage. Yeah. On average, you'd have to take 50 damage to get the resultant shield. Jesus. All right. Um. Trying to think how I do this. I feel like I do something like board and shields, send mantis plus one crystal into drone control, and lock down drone control. God damn it, this is a fucking ridiculously bad sector one. The first ship I can goddamn board is a beam uh, a mini beam plus potentially offensive drone and a fucking pulsar, man. How do I do this? How do I do this fucking fight? I don't have any missiles yet, because we're gonna get missiles from boarding, right chat? Look at how many missiles we've gotten from boarding so far. <sighs> you think we'll kill their crew before we take a second mini beam shot? Do you really think so? What if they have anti-personnel drone in their drone control? I guess I'm just gonna go on the shields and fucking hope they don't have anti personnel drone. Jesus. Okay, 
Okay, didn't hit my shields. That's good. All right, I think we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Just, I'm just not having fun yet. All right. Nice shield flash. Thank you. Four boarding. I don't like four boarding because it delays the boarding. I just don't like it. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Another missile weapon when we have no missiles. I know. Perfect. Perfect amount of trolling. At least I finally killed a damn ship, at least. The first ship I could actually kill. Still no missiles. Have I considered starting a board on sensors? Um, I think I have to save my crew. Uh, I could start my Mantis on sensors, potentially, so I know what we're boarding into, true. God, this sector sucks. This sector effing sucks, man. If he gives me a map, I have five fuel and jack shit right now, man. Do I do this or not? This guy gives you a map or a pair bear guaranteed. Repairs would be wasted. Map would be absolute frickin' waste. I need scrap, though. It's not 50-50 map. It's like one in three or four. I think you can get free power and scrap. I think it's one in four. Repairs, map, scrap, or weapon. So it's 50-50 on a good thing, 50-50 on a bad thing. Okay, so it's react. Wait, map, weapon, reactor, or high scrap? Is that right? I feel like you left out repairs. I feel like we have some different people telling me different things. I don't know which one's right. Uh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. We're always low fuel and fucking boarding runs anyway. It's reactor instead of repair. Okay. Oh, this sector is so terrible. Come on, game. Come on, help me out here. Finally, a fucking ship I can board. Okay. That was almost a triple hit at 80, 75% dodge. If I do this, I can move them around. Good dodge. Okay, now that we've done that. Move around a little bit. And of course we don't get a double reward. Why would we get a double reward in a sector where we've gotten jack shit for rewards every fight? <sighs> Alright. Uh, one drone part, no missiles still. Yeah, still no damage. True. Still no damage. But also still kind of ridiculously bad rewards for a ship that can be ridiculously strong. What are, what's our next upgrade, chat? It's, it's, is it hacking? Am I saving for hacking? Um... Am I doing some other upgrade? I'm purposely keeping this vented for free boarding to flush them out to the part of the ship that's not as far away as possible. Hacking is basically GG. Okay. Honestly, this sector is not as bad as I thought it was. I was looking, I was expecting that to be like a friggin' 20 something sector one, but I've gotten second shield, so. I guess it's not as bad as it feels like it is. My salt is so yummy. Great. Hey, a safe fight. Okay. Uh, I've already trained everybody, though, right? Everybody's fully trained on all the things. Yes. Okay. Nice. Time to get a 3v1. I want to try to force the fighting training on the Mantis, maybe. 
That might be something else I can do. So basically I move him to shields and he'll fight him there. I don't know if it's worth forcing the training or not. Holy crap, okay. All right. The, se the scrap has been terrible this sector, but the free crew has been pretty insane. <laughs> Ideally hacking, then clone bay, and then something like an ion belt blast kills everything, huh? Okay. Yeah, clone bay lets us kill auto scouts, I guess. Uh, actually, let me do it this way. You there, so he runs into that room as quickly as possible. I can still see what I'm boarding into this way. <laughs> Uh, you just rolled one of the worst layouts you've ever seen. It's basically a straight line to the exit. Wow, that sucks. Okay, we're finally able to kill crew. It's amazing. All right, um... Two humans. Uh, you know, I don't want to take damage here, so let's do this. I guess they're in time. Nice. All right, well, we got fuel. We've gotten literally zero missiles as well, so, you know. At all, we'll get missiles from boarding thing has not worked out super well yet. Hopefully that'll change soon. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get missiles. With all our crew killing, we'll get so many missiles. We'll get so many missiles. Look how strong the small bomb is. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's so sad, man. It's so sad. Uh I might actually take a missile deal with somebody. Well, nobody ever nobody ever surrenders when you crew kill them all the time. Um uh, I know, look at the small bomb carry. So good. You wanna be the rock. Okay. Uh wasn't Cantonun requesting a crew? I think I actually need to get Cantonun first. Okay, a way to kill auto scouts scouts. Okay. Sorry, actually I think I actually need to get Cantonun because I forgot. Yes, thank you. And uh, one will get you next. Game is so far to small bomb and won't give me any ammo. So should I do this now so I can kill auto scouts? Is this the exit beacon we're at? Not yet. Let's see the next sector. Civilian. Civilian means I don't have a lot of green afterwards. Yeah, also lets us get through Zaldan Shields, true. All right, we always go civilian. Hope we don't have a Lanius Sector 3, because are abandoned. Usually it'd be great, but for a boarding ship, not as great. I don't see an instant store, so I feel like... I feel like this is worth, right? It's for Zaldan Shields and Auto Scouts. Let's do that. I'm also gonna do this because if we have a if we do have an auto scout, I want to insta board them. And if I if I have my guys this way, I can I can go shift F G insta board onto the auto scout into the weapons. So I'm gonna do it that way. Nebula jump does get us one extra jump here. I think this start is amazing, actually. Well, if I didn't have to skip half of my fights in Sector 1, I probably would be feeling better about this run. Problem is, I've, I had to skip half my fights in Sector 1, so that's why I'm a little less super hyped about, uh, hyped about this run, as I probably should be. Why skip Civ 2 and skip all the green sectors? Because Civ 2 is good now, and I want good stuff now, rather than maybe good stuff later. And civilian sector is, in general, the best sector in the game for consistent good rewards. The scariest sectors in a run are the early sectors. Should probably have at least 80 more scrap. Um, well, I mean, I don't know about 80, but like, 
if the two ship fights that weren't auto scouts didn't have Zoltan shields, I'd have one free weapon and probably another 10 to 20 scrap. So I'm behind about a weapon and or 10 to 20 scrap. So I guess it's not that bad. But it just never feels good to miss out on games when every little tiny bit you can gain in FTL, especially in hard mode, is so important. The Beta Hunter, awesome to see you doing so well. Almost reaching 10k. Oh, is that number of followers? Oh, nice. I'd never look at those numbers, but cool. Watched some of my tournament not long ago. Awesome to see you in the community doing well. You were very much happily surprised to see you still using my pause screen. Your pause screen is great, Beta Hunter. Really enjoy it. Tell me if you want something new or something modified, and you'll look into it. Beta Hunter, if you're interested in doing audio slash video stuff, Kassalian would love to talk to you. Because he's looking for people who can do stuff like do audio uh, like if you think you could help create a overlay for the uh, tournament that we're planning Kassalian would love to talk to you about that uh, look at all these missiles and we're getting from crew kills <laughs> so many missiles you could do some video and maybe some audio. Well, it's more the video. He's the thing that Kassalian keeps th saying is he he's w wants to find somebody who's good at what is it you say, Kassalian? Um, uh, graphic design. I don't know if you're good at that kind of stuff, but maybe you can help with some ideas for uh, improving our overlay for the uh, for the uh, tournament or something. It's my scrap and I need it now. That's right. Thanks, long car, uh, whatever that guy's name is. Did we get a breach? Uh, I don't care. The only training I could get is the rock guy some training, and it's probably worth getting, but I'm not going to get it. we still got literally zero missiles so far. Hey, we got a missile! We got a single missile, okay. A single missile, chat, finally. Finally, a single missile. You'd love to help with the tournament, especially in the upcoming week of vacation? Nice. So, Kassalian, maybe you and Beta Hunter can ch chitty chat about that. We're boss ready. We have a missile. <laughs> a single missile equals boss ready. Just trying to save up for hacking still. Okay. All right, he's got a heal bay. Okay, I do want to have my whole laser on. Actually, I was going to say to hit their heal bay, but I don't need to do that if I just lock it down, right? So... How do we do this? I need both of their crew to get into a room at the same time, so don't force them out of the room too quickly. So... There we go, that should now work. Uh, I'll even hit their weapons. Why not? Okay. Okay. Did I ever play Auction Not Included on stream? A ton. I love Auction Not Included. It's such a good game. I have one or... I think I have two different playlists. Um, when they released the expansion or the DLC that added extra planets you can go do, I played a ton then, and I'd played another time before. I love Auction Not Included. So there, sh there should be YouTube playlists if you want to check them out. Spaced Out. Yeah, when they did the Spaced Out DLC, that's right. Okay. Uh, G? Yes. Yeah, Satisfactory and Auction Not Included are probably two of my favorite other games I've played on stream that are in a similar style of FTL. Alright, hacking is what, what we're hoping for. You just picked up Auction Not Included within the last month and the learning curve is brutal, but fun. Yeah, I watched a lot of videos from... Oh, what's that guy's name? There's a YouTuber I watched a lot to learn it. Uh... His name is kind of like Mike Copley, where it's just his name is the YouTube channel, and I can't remember who it is. Um, 
Would I play Oni on stream again? Absolutely. I would just need a goal or an expansion to play. There's the clone bay, true, but it's not the hacking. Francis John, that is him. John Francis? Francis John? I think it's Francis John. Alright, so it's probably the clone bay buy, right? We can still afford hacking if we sell a missile. We're always all in on boarding when we start with teleporter, pretty much. So I don't even think we sell the Pegasus right now, right? Eh, maybe I do. Do I ever actually use it? You like to hit up an auction not included run? Yeah. The reason I haven't played it in a while is because it's a huge commitment to get into auction not included. So if I'm going to play it, it's going to be my game that I play that's not FTL so I can put the hours in needed. There's so much cool stuff you can do in that. Building nuclear reactors and farms to get your food. You just I love automated automation games. I think I'm going to sell the Pegasus. I think I just sell it. I don't think I ever use it. Because I kind of want to buy a power right now as well. But I don't need it yet. We're only in Sector 2, right? Francis John is awesome. You've hung out with him IRL. Have you really? Oh, that's cool. This is not a safe fight, and he has mind control, and he has clone bay. Okay. Let's make it a safe fight. Oh, crap. I didn't know... I didn't know which of the guys... Okay. Do I vent him in time? Oh, thank God I do. Okay. Okay. I did not kill his clone in time, though. But I did get his... I did not get his weapons down, either. Okay. Now fight is safe. Okay. Holy shnikes, this was... Uh... No die, no die, no die. Okay, we have clone bay. It's fine. We have clone bay. I forgot that I have freaking clone bay. I literally forgot that we have clone bay. Um. Okay. Um. Okay, that pulls him. Okay. Holy shnikes. Okay. Everything's fine, Chad. Everything's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot that we just bought clone bay. It's fine, it's fine. God, what a ship. Mind control, two shields, level two clone bay, three crew in sector two. F U F T L. Jesus, what a ship. Uh, Francis John's RimWorld content is hilarious as well, huh? You should try doing a complete auto run in Oni where most of all your dupes never have work scheduled. Or steam turbine less. Okay, maybe one day I'll do one of those things. Oh, that was a scary fight. Huge clone bay diff, yeah. Freaking pirate light surveyors, cheating ass ships, super overpowered. All right, let me get. I, you know what? Maybe I get the clone bay in power here. For the clone bay upgrade for some value pointage here. I did. I refreshed all but two of them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with this for now. Imagine Firebomb with Crystal Crew would be super brutal to deal with, yeah. Okay, I don't think I do the power, but I do think I do the Clone Bay upgrade, because losing crew is our... Excuse me, lose condition. I think that's worth. Okay. Uh, I doubt we're getting that. Unless I'm diving, and I doubt I'm diving, so probably thanks for the free stuff. Okay. Uh, okay, this is actually just a safe fight, so I don't have to do anything goofy. And I can't actually get trained while that's hacked. Although, if I kill the hacking, I will get training slowly. 
All right, safe fight. Safe fight is safe, chat. Safe fight is for safe. Trying to fast forward like on YouTube once again. Yeah, good luck. By the way, Flak U2 FTL, that's right. Can you cloak a hacking drone? Uh, you can cloak it, on all, but all it does is delay it. You don't dodge it, sadly. It'll be an interesting mechanic. Yes, I'm sure um, not being able to fast forward my videos sucks. So, you know. Sorry. You get to stick around for the entire three hours or whatever this run's gonna be. I mean, you're welcome. Alright, it's breached. Nice. Is there any other way I can train? Do a bunch of depowering with the shields being offline, so. Meh. Meh, I don't think I care that much about training the, our Mantis who's going to be boarding the entire time on weapons. Rand, are you hurt by this comment? What, that they can't fast forward? I mean, I'm not really hurt by it. <laughs> Auto fire small bomb. One single whole time. It'll be amazing. Right, well, there's a second store, so chance at hacking. Clone Bay. All right, safe fight, right? Yeah, safe fight. Will I kill Clone Bay here? Shooting that. It's fine. Nice. Beautiful. Perfect. So now I have to vent a rock and a crystal, but that's okay. Vent you and vent you. Yeah, you don't get to fast forward through all our venting and refreshing, sadly. And I'm not going to turn on speed hack for this because that's the time I leave my power out of clone bay and lose half of my boarding crew and end my streak from stupidness, so. We must play. We must play smart and slow. Smart and slow. You're here for every second. Thank you. <laughs> you had a YouTube comment complaining about you playing too slowly on Stealth B. Nice, nice. I was like, dude, you can literally fast forward and all, and this is the shittiest ship. <laughs> I know, right? Your videos are boring. Like, okay, well... Cool. Go ahead and uh, watch somebody else who doesn't get 36 wins in a row or whatever you're up to in power. Yeah. You can watch somebody who's not in the top 20 FTL players of streak numbers or something. Um, Chuck Norris can fast forward live streams. <laughs> All right, this is another safe fight. Um, do I care about... Yeah, let's just board with these two. Actually, I could have boarded with them and they could have gotten training from... ...mashing on weapons or something. Whoops. Maybe I can get one weapon training for this guy. Could even get there in time. Yay! One weapon training. Holy triple... Do we call that a quadruple reward? Scrap and consumables and an augment and a free crew? That is that is basically a quadruple reward right there. We're going to store, so I'm actually not going to refresh. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my human on sensors, and I'm going to save him in engines, though. Engines or weapons? Probably engines. Kind of wild to complain about speed on videos, <laughs> yeah. Fuel can has been huge lately. It really has. We're almost at 200, which is crazy. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. Emergency respirators on Crystal B. We can afford auto ships. We can board auto ships forever now. Uh jeez. No hacking, though. 
Uh, hmm. My crystals have effectively 500 HP on auto chips if I keep that. So are y'all saying it's actually worth keeping the emergency respirators, you think? We had a name request in the log. Oh yeah, uh, who gets to be the human? It was Juan CTG. So sorry, instead of a rock, you get a human. Thank you for reminding me, Cantonan. All right, so I guess it is worth keeping that then. Um, do I want to do anything at this store though? Like, do I, should I buy missiles or drone parts when we get hacking? Should I buy a whole laser in case we eventually do? Want to start shooting dudes, or do we just save? Do I wish I had the wall of steel in my list of ships? I don't know what the wall of steel is, Turbojet. Couple missiles may be worth. Um, we did find a lot of scraps, uh, fuel since sector one. I feel like... It's either nothing or buy a couple missiles. This is sector... Well, this is the end of sector two. We're about to go into sector three. About to go into sector three. Um, yeah, I feel like some missiles is what we want. Maybe go up to five missiles. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely our last door, because I'm not diving without a Zoltan uh, Nebula dive. I mean, what about Pike Beam? So we can go whole laser Pike if we have auto scouts, but I mean, we can basically disable auto scouts with our crystal boarding and emergency respirators, so it feels like not necessary. I guess it's just nothing else, right? We have this quest over here that is behind my head that we're not doing because I'd have to dive for it. All right, let's keep going, I guess. <laughs> I literally bought four missiles. Next jump. Hey, can I buy your missiles? Hey, FTL, uh, why don't you go F yourself? Stop trying to buy my fuel when I have no fuel and buy my missiles when I have no missiles. Jesus. Jesus. I was at five fuel, they offered... No, I was at seven fuel, they offered to take two of my fuel. And I get five missiles, they immediately try to buy my missiles. Rebel controlled kind of sucks, actually. Uh, I guess it's not a automated or uh, abandoned, though. Uh, what upgrades help us right now? Maybe Cloak 2 and Power? Still afford hacking. Um, or do we just continue to save? I could go weapon so I can have whole laser and small bomb versus auto scouts, maybe. Time for uh, auto ship smashing. Shield buffer and cloak too. Hmm. That's a little expensive, it feels. I feel like I'm gonna... If I do this, but no power... Do I have anything to sell? I have the emergency respirators if I want to. I could do this... Um... Uh, I'm gonna do the cloak to power first. I feel like the power is gonna be helpful. And now that we have some missiles, I'm going to turn on my small bomb. Although if we fight a bunch of auto scouts, I doubt I use it. Uh, it feels early to me for buffer on shields in Sector 3, but... Alright, well that's basically a safe fight. Um, do I want to get any training on this human I just got? Nah.
Although, if I do get another safe fight, I probably should train this human. Oh man, venting my crew with emergency respirators to refresh them. That is the downside of keeping these emergency respirators, so... I might do less venting, because that's going to take a freaking year every anytime I want to do that. Oh god, solar flare with free borders. Okay. Gotta keep their health kind of evened out because of that. No, I did that wrong. Okay, it's fine. Slips like Tomo, you believe. Thank you. Yar, har, fiddle dee dee. Bring a crystal is effing OP. <laughs> Bring a crystal is effing OP. Nice, Twitch user. Nice. Okay. Okay, these all connect. That's good. I might even speed hack if we end up having to do some uh, refreshing with uh, emergency respirators. All right. Uh, board weapons, lockdown weapons, kill weapons, dot, 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 profit. Good. Four-person weapon room. I think it always is on this ship. Damn, I didn't uh, lock down again. Oh well. I'm going to refresh this one guy, even though it's going to take a year. A freaking year, as I said earlier. Oh, was that a potential double reward that we just didn't get? Cool. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, stinky human. Alright, let's see how long this takes. Look at how slow his health goes. <laughs> With, uh, him being a crystal that takes half uh, venting damage and emergency respirators. Super slow. Putting the lag in Jun, Jun bag. That's right. That's going to mess up our shunting now, but that's fine. That's fine. I actually should have brought him back first by himself, then vented him, then brought the other guys back if I wanted to deal with the whole shunting thing. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Alright, still no store. That's a dead end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I could get another upgrade right now. Still afford hacking. Let's do that. Dodge and power seems good. He's being tickled to death by the vacuum of space. That's right. All right. F2P. Okay. He should never board us now. I think I timed that correctly. Good. Now we're safe. Got to move this guy over here. Getting practice at this pulsar uh, D power shield thing on no pause is the last couple runs, it seems. It's just like the third or fourth pulsar we've had today, I feel like. In two runs. Can I get out, please? Nice. Okay, there's our store. All right, uh, so let's plan out our jumps. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Uh, no, I want to be here as late as possible. So here in six. Six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's one to two stores, so there could be a second store up here, and I have enough for hacking now. 
If I jump here, I can see if that's a store. So maybe one, two, I can see if that's a store. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's go. Let's go like this jump to see what that is. Then down and around. Okay, let's do that. Delay the store a couple jumps. Okay, I'm getting better at that trick. The problem is trying to do it while like timing weapons and hacking and boarding and all the other junk at the same time. Still haven't gotten super good at that. All right, rock crew, free blue stuff, free stuff, drone recovery arm. So much useful on this. So much usefulness. All right, hacking. Let's not be the third store in a row without hacking, please. Beautiful and backup battery. Awesome. Uh, no Zoltan Shield bypass. So what do we think about buying drone parts here? Do we need to? And if we do... Yeah, we probably should, right? Press how quickly you've added shield flashing and no pause. And I feel like I could have done it faster, but we're slowly integrating it into our play. Um, what's our next goal? Hack 2, probably? So if I buy hack two now, I can't get another drone part, can I? Let's see, it's eight. I actually can. Yeah, hack two and one more drone part, I guess. Let's do it. Yeah, we can do both. Seems good. Immediate hack two value. Um... Auto Assault with Offensive Drones in an Asteroid Field. Okay, hack weapon, or do I want to hack drones here? I think we want to hack drones and board with our two crystal dudes here. Single beam drone, okay, I'm actually going to hack weapons then. Swap over to this. I didn't teleport yet. Nice. Man, these guys can live, just live on their ship. It's great. Rand, you're gonna kill your own crew. I know, I know I am. But, uh, you know, if I'm gonna kill the ship anyway, let's re just refresh our crew while doing it since they're as low health as they are. That'll save us the time of having to vent them on our own ship, which takes a year. Oh, I forgot to move you on engines. Their Elanius cosplay. Almost, almost. Not immune, but close. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess if we lose a jump, I should give myself the option here to not dive. Holy hell, those guys last a long time? Yeah. Okay. No, not you, you human. All right, make the fight safe, and then we kill shields. So we can actually kill this guy eventually. First respirators works on enemy ship. Yeah, that's kind of the main purpose of them, is to make it so that when you board on auto scouts, you don't, like, you know, insta-die. Although I guess maybe some people think they're so that your crew on Lania ships don't die so fast, I don't know. <laughs> the best use of them is uh, the fact that they work on auto scouts.
How much combat train do you lose per death? Uh, whatever 10% is. Sleeping Dragon says one. Uh, sounds about right. Freaking Neo over here. That's right. Getting all our doges. Is the more ethical way to put them down, yes. Uh, totally not doing it to speed up time, to be impatient. It's it's ethical. That's why I'm killing them on the enemy ship. As long as each crew member gets two training, it's net positive. Nice. So probably these guys are getting net positive training. Although they're losing all of their engines, shields, and piloting training. We got them earlier. So that's a bit of a downside. And the other downside of this ship is any ship that starts with teleporter... Is you don't get the mind control counter, which is kind of fine as long as we get Zoltan Shield Bypass for phase three of the boss, right? Zoltan Shield Bypass is actually probably the next big thing we want to get if we have. We want to always have enough scrap to get Zoltan Shield Bypass at a store. Holy free ion stunner. I like it. I want to do that upgrade soon. But again, I always want to have enough for. The Zoltan Shield Bypass. Use speed hack to prevent crystal men. Meh. Uh, okay, Aid Federation ship. What do we got? Nothing too crazy. Um, okay. Goal so here was a trap it. 3v1, which worked, and then we'll trap them 4v2. Okay, let him in. Nice, he's about to leave. Block it. Good fight. A hidden Federation base. Apparently I didn't save that guy there. I thought I did. So there's the shunting order right there. That is actual the the actual order they're in right now. So, Duh. so when I board, it's not going to be in this order. The whole shunting thing is so ridiculous. All right, so save those positions and move you to sensors. What's up, Dark Fawful? It's going well today. We are playing Crystal B, and we're not dead. Even though Sector 1, I was pretty freaking out at the beginning of it. How does combat XP get assigned? Yes, the person who gets the last hit. It's it's League of Legends or MOBA rules. Whoever gets the last hit gets the training. Holy crap, a free pike beam. Okay, glad I didn't buy a pike beam earlier. Uh, you lost your very first hard run of FTL to flagship phase two. You're My god, you don't notice how lacking in scrap hard mode is until you first play it. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think we go slug controlled here. Slug home nebula, the slug quest isn't that useful. And here gives us some green options, although it could be Zoltan into Force Zoltan into Force Abandon or something. Mobile rules, aka Warcraft 3 rules. How's that what it is? Okay. Uh, O2 upgrade for slug sector. I might do it, as long as I have enough to buy stuff at stores that I want. Mainly being uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass. I think we have enough for that, so yeah, let's do that upgrade. I think it's worth. Do I need to do that? If we get the uh, choose your doom and just say turn off my weapons and we crew kill them, that's our high scrap reward. Um, I will say boarding slugs sucks because they have a lot of crew. So the fights might last last long enough that if we get the other two or three events, the Hack Hero 2 for free, that I want this option. So we have respirators help with low O2. That's true, we do. I'm still I'm still gonna do that upgrade though. I have a feeling we might do multiple slug sectors, so might as well get the upgrade now. It's a very spread out slug sector, by the way. Slug four is relatively likely to give coffin ships, which could be good for boarding training, I guess. Right, pirate rigger, some sort of off, some sort of drone, eel bay. Okay, let's do. Let them all in so that we can lock them in. If I saw an anti personnel drone, I was gonna lock this down earlier. Just keeping them out of the eel bay makes this fight easy. Nice fight. 
Beautiful. Now we're starting to get our missiles. We've got our missiles, chat. Alright, do I vent? Do I vent? God, it'll take a freaking year for these guys. Uh, I'll do just the Mantis. Everybody else has way too much health and the emergency respirator takes forever. If you recall, there are some slug layouts that don't turn up until Sector 5, huh? The crystal boarding is so strong. Yeah, that's why I think if I were to objectively rate boarding ships, I think Crystal B has to be number one. I guess you could argue that Maybe Mantis A has the small bomb, so it's got the weapon that's really good, but like just the ability to lock down rooms is so ridiculous. So I'm not sure if this ship is like more susceptible to getting wrecked in Sector 1 than Mantis is because Mantis has no weapon, has has the small bomb support, but it's just so good. I think Lanius B. Yeah, I guess Lanius B would be better. So, this one probably second then. Best boarding ship, anything with chain laser. Okay. Alright, nice, uh, nice free stuff. Poor Mantis, you prefer perform perfectly, son. Now, time to suffer a horrific death. That's what they signed up for. Bam. Alright, we're basically boss ready now, right? We have all the boarding stuff we need, now we just need some weapons. And actually we kind of have some weapons, so... Oh man, we, we have our entire boarding set setup done. Uh, all of the crew are currently renamed already, Unarmed Potatoes. After this, which ones are left? Uh, yeah, check the streak link there, you can see. Uh, recovery arm. I mean, we're so far ahead we could, but I'm still not doing it. Um... I feel like the only worry now is running out of drone parts. Maybe get a power. Or half power nebulas. Maybe a teleporter upgrade sometime soon. Um, for worrying radiation, do I want to man the doors? They have free... Yeah, they have free... Um, clone bay hack on that event. So worrying radiation is the worst event this sector, I think. How do we want to do this? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three. And maybe one more jump in this door, then back around. Do you mind selling that bypass for a scrap recovery arm? No thanks. If you have a request, please put your cookies in the queue and the event and their crew becomes available. Thanks, Burger, for taking care of that. Alright, I hope this is the one with the big weapons room in the middle that we can lock down. It's not. Okay. Okay, this works too, though. I lock this room down and they're all locked in. Reactively cloak if needed. Which we should not need to. We're good. Very nice. Good fight. I have to do some refreshing, but that's okay. I brought them back first. I should have brought something else back first. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to be venting anyway. It's going to make the shunting stuff all weird. All right, so we got a store next. Two stores in Nebula. Isn't that super rare? No, Andre. It's guaranteed in a slug sector. So for those who don't know, here's how stores work. Civilian... And NG is two guaranteed, sometimes three. Zoltan, Rock, Abandoned, guaranteed two stores outside of a nebula. Uncharted Nebula, guaranteed one in the nebula with like a 0.01 chance that there's no stores. And one maybe in the non-nebula. Slug is guaranteed two in the nebula, small chance or 50-50 or some, some other smaller chance that there is... One outside the nebula. Rebel is one to two. Mantis is one to two. I think that's all of them. There's probably a wiki out there somewhere to check all that stuff, though. Or my Copley's spreadsheet or something. Oh, for, and first sector civilian is 
unique in that it's one to two. That's right. Pirate one to two. I was missing pirate. Thank you. Pirate one to two. Um, I mean, do I buy crew? I feel like I don't need to really buy anything unless I want to go multiple bombs. Um, oh, crystal, two to three. Stronghold is one to two, same as... Stronghold is the same as rebel normal, right? One to two. Yes, Uncharted Nebula is different. Uh, I think the only thing we do at stores is check for, like, OP weapons now, or maybe crew that has training I want. So I, I don't think I need anything here. Probably just hack three and we're like really strong. I get a weapon upgrade, I guess. I get a weapon upgrade into power so I can go something like whole ion stunner if needed. And then maybe hack three next. If I ever get eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I do. What is it? Uh, what's the rule? A, a nebula jump is four-fifths or something? So every four jumps I get an extra, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I forget the, I forget the nebula rules in a, in the nebula sectors. It's four-fifths, okay. So I think with eight, I think I get this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan around actually getting all these jumps. If I dive, we're probably strong enough that it's fine. Chuck Norris can buy augments in any in a non-store beacon. Nice. You ended up in a crystal sector yesterday, completely by accident. Forgot you were even you were in a rock homeworld sector with Roxy. Nice. They're going to burn me out. With that build, huh? Good luck on that. Timing on the weapons did not work out for them to do damage, and we dodge anyway. Hey, we get a dodge training on Juan over here. Way to go, Juan over here. Uh, do crystals take fire damage? Yes, they actually are slower at putting out fires than normal non-Mantis crew. Like some weird holdover from not being rocks or something. Poor Mantis, he's doing such a good job. He's got lower health. Chuck Norris once got free emergency respirators, but he doesn't need to breathe. Chuck Norris can pre-ignite the artillery. Chuck Norris doesn't need super shield bypass. He just stares at it until it withdraws in terror. Last time you got this event, it was a coffin ship with two beams. <laughs> yeah. This uh, forced fire weapon ship can roll stupid stuff. That's for sure. I think Mike Hopley's talked about that before. Why did Chuck Norris refuse to upgrade his FTL ship's engines? Because once he steps aboard, the ship instantly active achieve, achieves maximum speed out of sheer terror. All right, here's our first, um, whatchamacallit, ship. Uh, coffin ship. Swap to this. See if I can get some dodge training out of this, maybe. Cool. Hope that stay online for dodge training. You know what, I'm probably not going to actually do the the O2 crew kill, honestly. Uh, who do I want to reset is the question. Nobody, but I guess if I'm going to reset anybody, it's the crystal dudes. I'm, I'm, I'm purposefully leaving... Leaving the O2 and the laser online for a potential dodge training here. As far as I am ahead, is Clone 3 a realistic option? Yeah, I was actually thinking about Clone 3 for more more heals per jump. I think I should get Hack 3 before I do that, but Clone 3 I feel like is not an unrealistic purchase with how far ahead we are. Man, this will take a while to do it. More loud noises outside. Probably leaf blowers or something. Uh, 
Chuck Norris can get fires with a burst laser three. Burst laser three really have no fire chance. I always forget that one. Poor Mantis, you performed perfectly, son. Now die. No, not this time. Now is the crystal dude. <laughs> you had one the other day, which had firebomb plus Artemis. Uh, I guess that was the uh, the fire forced weapons sit up. If you if you had had cloak hack cycle, you would have run it out of missiles just for amusement. But you were playing Fed C, huh? Chuck Norris doesn't need shields because weapons are afraid to hit him. Chuck Norris can dodge beams. Chuck Norris can open the O2 door on a coffin ship. <laughs> okay. Uh, happy Chuck Norris Day, everybody. All right. Uh, I've seen one store this sector, or have I seen both? I think we've already seen both, actually. We're good to just get the level three hacking. Call it safe. Chuck Norris breathes so hard, the outer space needs emergency respirators. <laughs> All right, here's the here's the fight I've been afraid of, and I don't have my doors OMD'd. Damn, and he's got mind control. Ugh. Okay, I'm actually going to counter the hack here. I normally don't counter the hack, but we're going to board, and he's got clone bay. So if I want to actually crew kill this, which I don't need to do... Okay. Uh, this is such a stupid fight. Um, okay. Make sure they can't repair that. This is uh, shitty. Stop fucking dodging. Okay, we have cloak. What a fucking shitty fight this is. What do I do? What do I do? Make the fight safe first. He has so many fucking crew on this ship. Um, fuck. I just gotta get all of my crew on his ship is what I need to do. No repairs allowed. Okay, the weapons are down. Alright. Did we do it? Okay, I think we did it. Jesus. Okay. Ooh. Worrying radiation event. My god, I hate that event. That event sucks. Okay. And we don't have the safety of uh, backup DNA bank either, which would have made that less scary. Sorry. I keep pressing... I have two different buttons to mute, and sometimes I press the wrong button, and sometimes one of the buttons I press to mute does not unmute once I press it. Sorry. Um, sorry. For those watching YouTube later, you missed a couple Chuck Norris jokes. Darn. Darn. No, not the Chuck Norris jokes. Oh, no, you missed them. <coughs> But yeah, the, uh, the, the clone bay was the worst part of that because they get bonus borders to go with their bonus borders with their bonus borders in case they run out of bonus borders. 
Uh, you turned your volume up and it blasted your ears. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's my bad. Rip headphone users when I turned my voice back on. Keep forgetting to move this guy. Chuck Norris doesn't mute his microphone. He turns off your ears. There you go. Hey, free reactor upgrade. Nice, nice bonus reward. What level of swearing did we just miss? Was it so bad he muted himself on purpose? No, I didn't want you to hear me blowing my nose. Okay. Okay. And then I pressed the wrong button to unmute, and then hilarity ensued as I trolled chat. You notice worrying radiation coming from your microphone. That's right. Chuck Norris can suffocate Lanius ships. Cool. Chuck Norris does not need a clone bay. It can't clone his greatness anyway. Yeah, this is a lot of empty jumps. Anyone ever played Starfighter Disputed Galaxy? It's an old Flash game. The art style of FTO reminds you of it. Never played it. That is some good weapons. Okay. Do I need to hack it? Yes, because he boarded me. Or actually, he didn't board me, but... Nice. Both the missiles down. God, I'm hearing sounds that, like... Sounds like they're gra grinding a, an entire tree outside. My goodness, stop grinding the tree. Um, again, with the so far ahead thing, let's go, let's go full safety for the thing that is scary. Losing crew. Let's go ahead and get the clone bait level three. Also gives us more heals. Get yeah, this ungodly amount of allergic phlegm in your throat and is crippling your ability to practice your music. That sucks. Jack Norris impregnated my mother just by staring at her. <laughs> what? You are the son of Chuck Norris? The son of Chuck Norris. You should have your own movie TV series show. <laughs> Indeed, I am. Bask in my glory. <laughs> no wonder Burger so OP. He is the son of Chuck Norris. Do crew kills generally provide higher rewards over ship kills? In general, Eagle's Eye, this is correct, yes. In general, they do. Slugger Zoltan. Well, that's an easy choice. More slug. Glad I got the level 202. You have no hot tea in the house for your sore throat. Mm. You should get hot tea and cookies. Maybe that will make you feel better. Oh, uh, what's the next goal? Dodge power, or do I care about other stuff? We already had the Zoltan Shield bypass. Backup DNA bank would be other safety stuff we could do. Another crew wouldn't hurt. You gotta go to work now in powers. Good luck with the rest of the run. You got this 20 streak hype. Thank you, sir. Hope your work day goes great and is not annoying or boring. Or maybe boring is good. I don't know. It's the acclaimed sequel to Walker, Texas Ranger. Burger, Chuck Norris, son. Chase them. Damn. Damn, sucks. Do I care about stores? I mean, I would still buy a Flak 2 instead of a whole laser or a pike beam or something. So, yeah, I guess I do care about stores. Uh, I probably wouldn't do a reconstructive teleporter. Hey, five gifted subs for Mr. Bread Baps. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Above and beyond awesome support. There we go. So what am I getting ready rid of for that? Um, ion stunner, I guess, or pike beam. I'd rather have whole laser pike beam flak. So I probably sell this. Yeah, we don't need to worry about crew killing weapons because we are a boarding ship. Ah, I should. Ooh, I should have done this before I did the selling. Uh, a slug pilot is important, actually. Um, what sector are we in? Sector 5. How important do we think slug pilot is right now? It's not a huge deal since I have boarding crew kill, right? I feel like it's not as important as other runs. Chuck Norris can start a level 50 hype train by himself. 
so cool. Yeah, I feel like since we have the boarding, I don't necessarily need to do that. So we have probably seven jumps. Seven, six, five. Okay. Now we can go flak, full laser. If I do it with my small bomb up, so I probably want to get a weapon upgrade soon. Flak Troop Crew will all be dead in phase three anyway, yeah. Okay. Which means I probably, if I'm not going to get a slug pilot, probably do need to get level three piloting for this run. Hopefully we'll have plenty of scrap canes to make that happen. is not yet safe. It's almost safe. Once this is down, or this is down, it's a safe fight. There we go. Now it's safe. Now we can maybe get some dodge training while we finish off this last guy. Does emergency respirator sell for a slug? I could have done that, actually. I could have done that. Maybe if I get another chance at that, I will. I've liked the safety of boarding auto scouts with the emergency respirators, so I haven't done it yet. Chuck Norris always wins against giant alien spiders. Nice, nice. That one I totally believe. We can kill auto ships without boarding now. Um, I kind of would want one. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess with hacking and the weapons I do have, I could. That's true. True. You're still mad that there's no blue option for giant alien spiders with mantis. Hmm. Uh, if you're a, if you're a TP ship on hard, you want the entire flagship crew dead. Yes, you do. Well, you want all but one dead if you're a teleporter. Well, actually, yeah. Even with even without Zoltan shield bypass, you would want to do that because phase two you kill missiles instantly. Ten for doors. That's a good deal. So true, true. I would dive this if I needed to. But, eh, we shouldn't need to. Chuck Norris does not need mind control. Everyone does what he says anyway. <laughs> okay, Clone Bay is annoying. But it's fine. We can always hack Cloak Cycle if we need to. Safe. Free crew. I might need to refer Oh, I was I was being greedy trying to wait till the last second. That was too slow. Let the Zoltan out. He's gonna bear and come back or heal and come back. I might have to do a complete refresh on my crew after this one. A repair burst. If that was a heal bomb, I'd actually be stoked because I wouldn't have to do my refreshing. So oh god, this is gonna take forever. Alright, chat. All right. Story time while we wait for the emergency respirator clone clone bay time. Um, Chuck Norris doesn't need clone or med bay because he can't take damage. Probably for the best they let this old out. Nah, we would have just killed him at faster. Chuck Norris does not need mind control because yeah, everyone does what he says. All right. Do I have any story times? Man, I haven't been doing anything lately. I've been just streaming and. That's like all I've been doing. Streaming and occasionally going and singing at my church job. So I just don't even have any story times. Just, my life is streaming. My life for ire, my life for streaming. Looking back at the past, Rand, did you enjoy the as intended runs? I did, they were fun. And probably once I finally finish my streak for the first time, going back and doing as intended another goofy challenge runs is the first thing I do for fun before circling back and doing more cycle attempts, probably. Uh, thank you for the follow, Crit Error. Appreciate that. 
Welcome to the stream. Best weapons or respirators for stealth weapons. Uh, stealth weapons on this ship? You're gonna hate this answer, but it depends on what weapons I get. With my weapons now, meh. Meh. Alright, um... Okay, his weapons. Okay. Okay, good. Clone Bay dead. Now we should be safe. Uh, Dirty Gopher, that name I saw earlier. Thank you for the follow. Great name. Okay. I'll let it all those no hacking runs. Yeah, but Hollow's a machine and a robot and an NG all tied into one. I'm not, I'm not looking to get into that anytime soon. That is way too hardcore for me. I'm... He's also gotten multiple back-to-back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, however many backs you got, cycles, and I've gotten zero, so I won't be doing that. Thanks for a great stream on Friday. Nice, Tim Tam. Glad you enjoyed it. I think I do buy a slug for piloting now. Anybody with piloting training? Just the Mantis, sadly. Okay. Okay. Um, slug with repair training. Freeze up you to... Do I want to board with you? Yeah, probably... Probably is worth boarding with you and having the rock on weapons? Maybe this? I think I might stop OMDing now. Uh, called you daddy. I have no idea what you're talking about, Turbojet. Cycle. Cycle is winning with every ship in a row without dying. It's the cycle streak is what it's called. We are, what are we at? 19 out of 28. And if we win this, we will be at 20 out of 28 ships winning in a row without dying. And Hollow's done that many times. And his highest is 130 something, I think. Yeah, I'm going to board with the extra crystal for extra lockdown for sure. Salmon. All right, free stuff. Another slug instead of Zoltan. Okay, well, we're living in slug nebulas. 124 with his max. Okay. 124 wins in a row on FTL playing hard mode without pausing. That is what you were talking about when you say you should do what Hollow does. No. Nobody has done any, has done anything close to what Hollow has done, as far as I know. And I will not be trying to replicate it because I just don't have the skill or the patience or whatever it is that he has to do that. Do I want you to retry? I have no idea what you're talking about, Turbojet. No, I don't want you to. If it's about calling somebody daddy, I don't care about that message. Sorry. Uh, Chuck Norris has done the entire cycle streak a hundred times. Nice. Hollow confirmed NG. Didn't Hollow also get a full streak with no hacking? Yes, he apparently also did a full sh full cycle streak within 24 hours or something stupid. Like, Hollow has done things that Chuck Norris would be impressed by in FTL. All right, burn me out. Kill my doors. Firebomb. Okay. Nice. Um, let me get hacking in here. Probably don't need it. Oh, we should be good here doing this. They've got none of their weapons offline because they've had their crew stuck in weapons that entire time. So we couldn't actually attack the weapons. All right, good fight. Your favorite Hollow VOD is his run right after his 124th win. He spent over an hour just cursing out the game, and it's glorious. <laughs> nice. Norris Singh Hollow, finally a worthy opponent. Imagine the event on Rock B. You think it was? We burn you, no you. Okay. Um, all right. Well, here's two of our stores. So we have a guaranteed third store this sector, actually. If I can find it and it's not stuck at the end of a nebula, I can't get to. 
Chuck Norris did everything first, but he's still impressed by Hollow, I guess. Okay. No OP weapons. No backup DNA bank to be super duper duper safe. So I'm gonna not do anything here. Oh, there's our other store. Okay, we can check them all. Does Hollow still stream? Yeah. He just doesn't stream FTL as much. I think he streams uh, backpack battles lately, and he was playing some Deep Rock Galactic. He plays other games, I think. Uh, Worrying Radiation. It's only two crew, no clone bay. I'm going to allow this. And he boarded in the dumbest place. Perfect. And is Worrying Radiation one where it doesn't matter where you, if you crew kill them or not? I think I think it is the one that it doesn't matter if you crew kill or not. So I can just finish off this guy without taking any more crew damage. I'll let them get some training back, though. Although they're all basically maxed. M could use the training, I guess. Work on him here. Chuck Norris does not need backup DNA bank. His DNA can't be erased even by fire. <laughs> okay. Fire, huh? Uh, is there any, any way I can... Get you guys to run through the same room? No, not with this layout. Okay. A little bit of weapon training on this fight. Full clone bay hack. Oh no! What will we do? We'll be fine. Don't worry about it, chat. Calculated amount of damage. Bring them home. Rand, have I ever played Sea of Thieves? I have. I played it off stream with my friend Tim. It's one of those games where I can see how it's fun with friends, but to me it's kind of like... It's kind of too shallow in its mechanics for me to enjoy it. It's like it's a fun game to play with your friends, or if you like to just fight people for fun in a video game. And I'm not a big PvP fight people for, for fun in a video game type of gamer, so... I haven't played a ton. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is super fun. Bought that after seeing me stream it. It was nice to catch you laugh at Explosions for Change. It was fun. I've been playing it some off stream too. I'm getting to a point where I'm having less fun because it's getting really hard at the higher difficulties though. All right, a flak one. So let's replace. I don't need to replace anything, I guess, but yeah, flak one, flak one, hole laser. Uh, actually, Flak 1, Flak 1, Hole Laser, Pike Beam for my four weapons after Phase 1. Do I even need Small Bomb anymore? Why not wait for Bio Kill? Uh, Spectre, I think I already said that in that event, Bio Kill doesn't get you a higher reward for Worrying Radiation. We talk about that many times, and I'm pretty sure I'm remembering correctly. When your clone base is disabled like that and your crew dies, does it recuperate the crew? I don't know. You can test it on a non streak if you want to. I have a feeling you'd recover them as it turn on in time. Um, you'd keep pike, it's mid, but it's a beam. Well, the thing I'm asking about small bomb is if I just sell small bomb, get flak one, flak one, hell laser online right now, and eventually we have flak one, flak one, hell laser, pike beam, that's perfectly fine for crew killing after we crew kill with our borders. I kind of want to just sell small bomb right now and get my weapons upgraded. I think I am going to do that. We can kind of do whatever we want. We're at that strength in a run, it feels. So... Can't quite get all of the weapons online, though. So maybe it's a little premature to sell that, but... We can always hack things if we need to. Okay. Now I probably skip this store because what am I ever going to buy there? Another flak? I mean, if they have one. You'd rather have the small bomb than the respirators? Hey, we got our last crew, and he's a fully trained engine NG. Nice. Nice. The training that we lost because the training we did was all on guys we've cloned over and over again. 
Okay, beautiful. If we get if we get a training opportunity, we should take it for weapons and piloting, though. I don't know how likely that is to happen. Rename him to Chuck Norris. Oh, Jesus. Wasn't there some other name request that we missed? Uh, Burger, can you find out if there's something before Chuck Norris I need to rename? Uh, we're good to rename Chuck Norris. Great, wonderful, amazing. We need more Chuck Norris in this run. There we go, Norris. Chuck is good. <laughs> All right, uh, seven, six, five, four, five, three, two, two, one. I don't know if I get all seven, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven probably works, though. Only thing I want to buy right now is backup DNA bank. Yeah, that's the only thing that's, like, probably useful. All right, I asked to see the goods, and then we got the slug blue option here. And then he's got a missile, so we hack weapons board weapons. There's a little delayed there. It should be fine. All right, let him in, yeah. lock it down. Did not get the missile down, so I'll hack if I need to, but I shouldn't need to. I think we kill him in time. Uh, I'm going to trade one drone part for damage, whole damage for drone part, and I didn't even need to. Nice. Killed him fast enough. Chuck, a guy who forgot humility at the slightest yeah. sign of fame. Okay. Should be Chad Norris, since he's an NG. Okay. Oh, damn. This isn't going to be an annoying fight. Uh, missile cloaking keel bay. All right. Well, we're going to hack. I'm going to hack weapons. That's going to lock them down. I'm going to hack weapons and board and shields, because it's going to shunt the two extra guys into the weapons. Then we can cloak and stuff, so... Nice. We're here. See if I can kill this clone bay if possible would be nice. Could you give me a goddamn break, you cheating ass mother effing game? Okay, it's locked down. Oh, these missiles are never going to go down. It's fine. We let him in once the rock hole thing wears off. Then we lock him. I need shields. I should have hacked. Yeah. Oh, the dodge anyway. He got through. Oh, I turned off. Get back. All right, well, just make the fight safe. Could you kill the damn weapons? How many value points does this guy have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got four full eight power weapons. No wonder I can't kill him. I know it's eight because that's an Artemis. I saw the size of the bomb or the missile. All right, there's the fight's over. Good doges. Good doges saved us from damage. I, I kind of hate going to slug sectors when we're a boarding ship because they always have like frickin' six crew and a heel bay and cloaking and missiles. Boarding slugs and they're immune to mind control if you happen to have mind control. They often have mind control. Like boarding slugs is some of the most annoying boarding uh, micro I feel like. Uh, do you know how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, no, I'm, I'm sure there's a joke answer to that question, that riddle, and I don't remember what it is. A woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck. Great. All right, double burst laser twos. These are freaking OP ships, man. Slug sector, whatever this is. Um, okay, what we're going to do is actually lock down heal bay. Uh, 
Do some damage to the weapons. And we should win this fight now, I believe. I better reset after this fight. Getting low health dudes. Which is annoying, but... Unless we have, like, a store, nah. Alright, time to refresh them all. Refresh them all, everybody. Sad times. Lose all the training. We are a strong setup ship. After a semi shiznitty Sector 1, yeah... The sector 1 actually wasn't that bad. I just... I hate... Losing jumps. Uh, I hate missing ship kills. And we had to miss four, I think, in Sector 1. I think there were four ships we couldn't kill. Three, four, or five. Something like that in Sector 1. And that made me feel behind. But we weren't actually that far behind with how good this ship is, thankfully. Could you tell what weapon it was from the tip? Uh, sometimes... Sometimes you can see the enough of the weapon to see what it is. But how much would a wood how much wood would a woodchuck Norris chuck? A <laughs> woodchuck Norris chuck. All of the wood. He would chuck all of it. If you don't like slug ship boarding, you could have gone to Zoltan Sector Kappa. Yeah, that probably would have been even worse. Although I do have Zoltan Shield Bypass, so maybe not. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Hang out the nebula, I guess. That connects, yes. If you find a reconstructed teleport, would I keep it? You know what? At this point, with how far ahead I am, probably. I probably would. Actually, kind of losing that fight. Good thing I refreshed. Hey, a human we can vent. Okay. I think I had a very specific request for a human to be vented and have a certain name. And I would like to get this done because I always forget these ridiculous requests. Um, I did that one that was Dave to be a vented human, right? Was there another one? Hopefully. Uh, actually, maybe I did get caught up on those ridiculous requests. So, what are we naming the human vented person? How about Grima? Let's get Grima out in, in there. Name him Chuck. No, we already have a Chuck Norris. Grima, enjoy your life in the venting land. All right, and uh, let's vent the low health guy here. Just this guy. You love that the stream has escalated to a Chuck Norris joke farm. Well, the reason people are like, why is it this? It's because we play WoW on Wednesdays and Fridays. And the the thing back in WoW's heyday, the Chuck Norris jokes became a thing <clears throat> in Baron's chat in World of Warcraft. So, you know, if you want more Chuck Norris jokes, come hang out Wednesdays and Fridays when we play World of Warcraft. That's kind of the reason it's been happening lately. The wow nostalgia. Some say you can still see the corpse of Vented Grima orbiting from your ship. That's right. Um, 2005 again. That's right. 2005. Weapon upgrades or other things. I'm going to want a teleporter upgrade eventually. Let's do that in power. I wonder how the dismissal works in lore. Just push the guy out the airlock? No, they say something like you dismiss him at the next jump or something, I think is what it says. You looked on Google and March 10th is the official Chuck Norris Day. There's a Chuck Norris Day. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. I was gonna say, I can't believe that's a thing, but no, I completely I, I believe that that's a thing. Right, let's kill the bomb. Yeah, thanks for the repair training, I guess. Okay, now we're good to let him in and then lock him down. And the bomb's back up. It's fine. 
Man, that should be good. Need a mod for all the vented bodies to be in the vicinity around your ship. <laughs> that would be cool if there was a mod that every time you vented somebody adds an extra body of that race floating outside the ship. Oh, that would be an amazing mod. Maybe not quite as Cursing Missile Rand mod, but a close second. That would be an amazing mod. That's the same as Mario Day, the March 10th day. Oh, is it? Ermagerd, it's Chirk Nurris. As we're making WoW jokes, time to name somebody Leroy Jenkins. If only we had crew space for that. September 19th is Talk Like a Pirate Day. I've heard of that one. Is there a reason for that? Does that have something to do with, like, a old pirate history thing or something? Like, the day Captain Blackbeard died or something? Have them orbit the ship like a defense drone. No, see, we wouldn't want it to give the player an advantage. We just want it to be funny. If you give it to the player and it's, like, an unfair advantage, then we can't use it on our you know, Harman Opaz streams. But if you just do it as a visual thing, it'd be awesome. To be fair, Cursing Rand Missiles mod is heads and shoulders above anything that does and does not exist yet. True, true. Auction for 29. I don't need level 3 auction. Rock or pirate? Speaking of pirates, some guy just created Pirate Day and that was the day he finalized his divorce so he picked that day to memorialize it. Okay. Holiest day of the Pastafarians. Okay. Pirate controlled or rock controlled here? Um, do either of these have nebula potential for extra jumps? Pirate can have nebulas, right? I think pirates can have nebula jumps. Problem is, pirates can also have scarier ship fights. All right. Less stores, because this is two guaranteed. This is one to two. But I guess we go there because we don't need stores that much. With level 302, does Elenius in a closed room filter in, filter it to no auction? Uh, I don't know. Sleeping Dragon probably knows the answer to that. Can't remember the rules for that. Okay, what do we want to do here? Um, I should actually get weapon training at some point, probably. Not that it's super needed, but... I want to get two more weapon power. But do I actually need it? Probably not. These connect around here? They do, okay. Every day is a pirate day in the pirate sectors. What's up, uh, Pro Maxi? Explore? Six fuel. That's one of the few times on a boarding ship I don't actually need fuel. Thanks for all the wasted fuel. You turn level 3 auction on the Lanius doesn't... On the Lanius doesn't draw, drain O2. There, there's your answer. Cloaking, glaive beam, double heavy laser. Okay. You think in pirate sectors they have an axe normal day? <laughs> sure. Please don't have a level 3 heal day. Okay. Okay, now it's a safe fight. Lock it down before they can get through. Beautiful. As Azaktu, thank you for the tier 1 sub. That is a first time subber. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. All right, this is uh, now a one fight. Yes, yes, I believe so. I need to swap out the crystal fight and the mantis. There, that should work. My dolphin flipping was kind of bad there. It's fine. Uh, some training on weapons. Wow, that explosion did a lot of damage. All right, time to refresh everybody. Unless there's like a store, gen well, store and then distress. Let's see how much health we have after going to this distress uh, the store before I decide if we refresh. Max Lanius A out a while ago and tested it out of curiosity. Oh, on the O2 stuff? Okay. Uh, finally catching you on Twitch. You've been enjoying the No Pause YouTube series for a long time now. Nice. Welcome from the YouTube. You're the third or fourth person, maybe fifth person. We've got a lot of folks joining from the YouTube lately. All right, I think it's finally time to sell the respirators. We're in a pirate sector. We're probably not going to fight a bunch of auto scouts. I say that as soon as I sell this, we fight all auto scouts. But um, let's go for the weapon upgrade. We don't need it, but we should be able to get it, no problem. And we did get the uh, slug pilot, so I feel less... Um, 
immediacy that I have to get the level 3 piloting or anything like that. Good. Now. Um, let's see. With those 152 automated turrets in this ship text prompt, why does it attack the flagship? Why doesn't it attack the flagship? Good question. I don't know. Yeah, this will be my last run of the day. We always do two runs, because if I try to get a third run in, that's the time when I play and my hands hurt and I make bad plays. My excuse. A small bomb! <laughs> Remember that small bomb I sold? I guess I'll get that small bomb back. Um, let's have it on our bar. Are there any blue options for small bomb? I can't remember, but we can get uh, Flak Flak pie beam, Pike Beam Small Bomb right now. New FTL event. You sell emergency respirators. Now your crew all catches COVID. Yikes. Rescue the store. Can we actually do this one? Well, okay. That's a good position for that. So we have six, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay. And we probably only got one store because it's a pirate sector which has one to two stores, so that's probably our one store. Alright, free borders. Over here. Okay. I didn't refresh my crew, and it looks like we're doing okay with that. Let's conserve Mantis Health by doing this a bit. Small Bomb came home. It came home, Chad. It came home. You love me, Small Bomb. You really love me. Chuck Norris killed 50 combatants with a Small Bomb. Then the bomb exploded. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna not refresh. No, that's the the way I lose the run is being lazy with my refreshes. You refresh everybody. I lose my boarding crew at the end by being lazy by with refreshes. That's how we lose this run. All crew report your designated party airlock. That's right. This is slow and boring, but it is the safe way to make sure our boarding crew. Do not get wrecked by some ridiculous shift with anti-personnel drone plus mind control plus six crew, which I don't even think can exist. But, you know, that's what we find to end this run that's ridiculously strong. How much does uh, level 3 Columbia uh, recover? Uh, 45? 20. It's only 25, actually. It's not honestly that much, I feel like. actually go no, I thought I could do something go around I can't actually never mind okay I mean I actually have a small bomb so I don't need fuel okay it'd probably be too OP if they could If they could heal for more than that, then, I mean, it's already stupidly overpowered, but it'd probably be just even more stupidly, stupidly, duperly, duperly overpowered if Clombe healed for more, more than that per jump, even at max level. Superly, duperly, flooperly, pooperly. All right. Fire beam, long range scanners. Hmm. 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 Let me think about things while we refresh our crew again. Fire beam. How good is fire beam? I watch FTL has not been around lately to tell us how much we should get a fire beam. I said yesterday, long range scanner is always worth. I did say if it gets you one jump, it's always worth. However, the problem is I have no choices of jumps at the end of sector seven. So the only thing, I, only time I'd say it's worth is if we have choices in sector eight. And honestly, sector eight, you often don't have choices. So I'm not sure if I want to do that if I'm going to do some sort of weapon shenanigans here. For killing all the crew, fire beam is pretty great. 
Yeah, because then uh, if we're killing all crew, the uh, uh, AI can't repair anything, right? I might actually do the fire beam. Problem is, is the low... Uh, the, fa the fact that it doesn't do, you know, a bunch of, like, hole damage. But if we have flak, flak... Whole fire beam... That's probably going to be pretty crazy. Um, so can we do it without being super far behind in upgrades? Because I still need one more weapon up weapon upgrade. So pike beam, sell small bomb, the flak flak whole fire bomb fire beam. I think that works. I think it was a follow attack. It's easy. I think I am going to do that. And not just for the memes, but I think it's actually going to be good with our boarding setup to disable the flagship from repairing phase two and three. I will say it's still slow charging, but... You know, it is a fire beam. Why win when you can win in style? That's right, we're going to win in style. I still need a bunch of power, an engine upgrade, teleporter upgrade. There's still stuff I would like to upgrade. And here's the other reason I'm not getting long-range scanners if I do something like a fire meme we don't have enough scrap for it so. I almost bought the whole beam okay but I didn't sure I don't need the fuel I guess I'll do that useless trade beams are the most fun weapons uh, I don't know I like flax if you do this sometimes it stops you from having a fight I think so I always do aid the civilian ship on this event All right, let's start some fires on this guy. There we go. Yo, dog, your ship's on fire. Okay, let's go finish them. A pirate bomber with a bunch of NGs on it that's in a Mantis ship. It's an interesting, interesting build. 60 scrap and free repair when I'm at full health. Great. Just what I needed. Beams are actually your least favorite type of weapon, Sleeping Dragon says. <laughs> You've been playing FTL again for like two years of not playing? Well, welcome to Salttopia. Enjoy your stay. Uh, what if it's next to Beacon Store? Let's not spend our scrap yet. Sensors upgrade. Um, we have a slug. I don't really need the sensors upgrade. But I guess because you want to see the fires. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Free 63 scrap. Nice. There's so much variety of beams. Antibio, fire, glaive. Okay. I'm going to guess favorite for you doesn't mean most effective, but most interesting. Two power. Piloting value. As much as I want to get level 2 sensors, I think it's more important to get some other things like the teleport upgrade and power and dodge and power. So we're going to get the things that we need and then we'll do things that we want like sensor value point. When you first jumped in your first game, you got giant alien spiders and forgot you could lose crew. Saltopia is right. Yeah. Alright, so we need to crew kill. Um... really annoying. Okay, weapons are down. Let's kill the drones if we can. Uh, okay. Okay. We don't want to kill a ship. If we kill a ship, we're in trouble. And this guy's working on the clone bay, so... I think we finish off his crew before this guy does the last damage. Perfect. Calculated. Alright, go repair. 
Uh, heavy laser vaporizes crew, cripple systems, and does heavy damage to hull all in one. And there's a probability of fire and breach. Perfect weapon. Heavy laser, huh? That's a that's a that's a good candidate for a favorite weapon. Okay. Thank you for not taking over the repair bacon. The repair bacon. Um, let's go. Dodge power, and then we go. Teleporter, then battery, and then maybe sensors if I can get all those things, which this is a much better layout than our last last our last last stand, so hopefully we can get more more scrap this time. Heavy laser, your favorite. Heavy lasers and then ions, huh? You kill his ship, mom will be mad and take away your screen time. Okay. Weird reference to my mother. Okay. You can hear the fire still breaking systems on the other ship, yeah. down. That should be the end of the fight. Glad there are no FTL Chuck Norris sectors. Nobody can cross Chuck Norris and live. <laughs> okay. uh, burst Heavy Pierce 2, the best weapon in the game. A weapon that literally doesn't exist. Cool. Okay. Uh, 49 scrap. Yeah, I want the backup battery even before level 2 sensor so I can have all my stuff online. All my stuff online. He goes 1, waits, 2, and then goes 3. So I can go 1, 2, 3. And I hope this doesn't get taken over after I go here. Anti-Biobeam is your favorite weapon? Yeah, I'm sorry to say, Tech. CZ, if you want to win... That is not a weapon to choose very often. That is one of the worst weapons in the game. Sorry to tell you. You want a crew kill? There are so many better ways to do it in this game. Oh my god, that was just two empty jumps for the boss. Well, I thought this was going to be a good final sector. I guess I'm not getting back at battery. You didn't say it was good. Okay. Good. I'm glad you didn't say it's good. <laughs> it's not good. All right. So uh, how do we do this? We hack missiles. We board ion. Then we board beam. We cloak missiles. If we get a hacking or teleporter hack, it's bad. We actually don't need weapons at first, but setting some fires wouldn't hurt. I'm going to have my weapons powered to start, but then maybe move some power around. Anti-biobeam's good because it kills spiders. Yeah, as much as I like things because they give you blue options, that doesn't mean it's good. I'm sorry. At least, I'm coming from the point of view of it's good if it helps you win in hard mode consistently. And anti-biobeam, sadly, is not that. Okay, worst hack. Weapon hack is actually fine here. Pilot hack sucks, but we'll take it. We are going to be disabling his ship. Already one damage. Not ideal. Okay. Fire in there is good. Okay, good. They're down here already. That's great. This one is not down. Poke it. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Good. 
good. Perfect. Alright, fight should be basically over now. So I don't make any stupid mistakes. Should not be able to do any more damage to us. Cut him in, kill him. Keep our clone bay online. The breach is actually good for our uh, crystal boots fighting in there as well. Damn, I let that guy out. Okay, we let him kill that guy. This. Beautiful. Now, now the fight's over. Let him in. Vent them down. Just think if we still had our uh, emergency respirators, man. This would be super strong. <laughs> These crystals taking basically zero damage. While being vented. And right, that should be the final one. Um, get over here to kill shields. Oh, damn. Did I go over too early? Or can, oh, I can lock him in. There we go. GG. Work on shields. Kill their cloaking so they stop cloaking and being annoying. Good. You win consistently on hard mode with chain lasers. They must be good. Well, chain lasers aren't terrible. As much as we meme about them here, chain lasers are a two-power, two-shot laser. They're not my favorite weapon, but they're not actually terrible. GG. All right. Um, so now we can insta-board on drone control with these two guys, and these two guys will deal with the boarding drone which we keep the doors open. Uh, what do we want a fire beam to keep down? Maybe fire beam the drone control, I guess? Why no upgrade to shields level four? Because it's 200 scrap, Matt O'Bry, and cloaking is strong. Usually I only get four shield if I was not able to get cloaking for some reason on a run. I will try to get that sometimes, but it's really freaking expensive, so that's why I didn't do it this run. Uh, we can get back at battery th uh, t level 2 after phase 2, I think. Oh, we might get some bonus crap here as well. Go here, because this is potentially a ship fight. Chain laser is fun if you can find an auto reloader. Okay. Say fight. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I need to heal. No, I don't. It's hot in there. Um. <laughs> God, our bonus. Bonus reward as a human at the end of the run. Junpeg, even with your max training there. Um, more Grima. Grima came back, Chatty came back. Go away, we don't want you. Stop coming back, please. Our two highest health crystals will stick around to deal with the boarding drone. Keep the doors open. Uh, you had a chain laser is the only damaging dealing damage dealing weapon recently alongside two ions and ion charger faster spin up pairs really well with ions interesting you want that to be you Bilbo oh crap I missed it sorry you and Grima are the same why vent him why didn't you crew kill why vent him I have no more crew spaces I don't don't know what you want from me I literally can't do anything with him, then vent him. Why not give him to the ship you just emptied? Oh my god, Turbojet. 100 bits. Thank you, Leechy, for the 100 bits. Super generous. 
Okay. Um. Oh, let me let me remember what I'm doing again here. Uh, hacking shields, boarding missiles, dealing with the boarding drone with these guys. Fire beam, the drone control, I think. And I don't need to cloak the first missile because it'll never fire. Okay, should be good. I'm waiting a little bit longer to hack because fire beam is frickin' slow. Uh, I did not get nearly as many fires as I was hoping there. I screwed up my micro there. It's okay. Use level 2 cloak just to be safe. Okay, deal with the boarding drone. Speed up the uh, shield killing speed. Shoot some empty rooms with my hole laser that we never do. Um, He's dead here, so... I might kill my own crew with this, but it's fine. Okay. Now the no mind control is the biggest annoyance here. Yeah, this is the last run of the day. Uh, we've been going for five and a half hours by the time we... Yeah, it'll be about five and a half by the time we finish this run. I don't really like to do seven or eight hour streams because I get exhausted. My hands are start killing me and... I start playing poorly if I go longer than six hours, usually. Although I often play poorly within the six hours that I play, so, you know. Try to not do that. Okay, so what we want to do is... Save those guys there. But move three there. One guy there. Maybe you there. You there and you there. And 44 gets me value sensor or power. Let's just get power. And the goal is whoever gets mind controlled stays where they are and then everybody else we insta board into missiles. Actually, do I want just these guys just to be all in teleporter? So that if one of them does get mind controlled, that's fine. They're just beating on the mind control. I mean on the teleporter and that's fine. I think we want that better. Even five hours sounds exhausting, to be honest. Yeah, it's I'm I'm pretty dead after my FTL streams, that's for sure. Firebeam is less important. Well, I guess once we get through this Zeltan Shield, it's it will be good to keep things busted. Okay. All right, follow him if things get bad. And here we can actually see, so it's not one of my borders, so that's actually fine. We allow that. He's my shields guy, I think. Probably best mind control there. I'm going to actually go kill the mind control. So, I, uh, Yes, I am going to do that. So it doesn't matter what I shoot, it's just to hit the old shield. Wow, big surprise. Oh, he dodged just enough dodges. for me to do zero fucking damage. They're not through yet. Okay, that's good. We are through. Fix what you broke, sir. Fix it. Start fires in the rooms we broke so they can't be fixed. Very nice. You fix what you broke, human. You feel bad about what you did. Feel bad. You're bad and you should... You're bad and you should feel bad. Alright, how shall we finish him, chat? I think we should finish him with fire. Let's finish him with fire. Stop that. Where is my fire beam? There it is. All right, watch me get punished because I'm doing this. I have cloaking, it's fine. <laughs> Death by burning. No! Woo! GG cookie time. Crystal B, 20 in a row, my friends. 20 in a row. 
We're getting close to our best ever, and we have beat a lot of the bad ships, like most of the really bad ones. Oh my god, man. We are we're we're closing in chat. We are closing in. This feels like a really high score too. And I was worried at the beginning of sector one. Why was I worried? Because FTL's mean, that's why. 53-52. Honestly. Again, for a ship this strong, that feels a little low. Only 41 ships defeated, a lot of free stuff. That slug, what was that? Five, not amazing. Manta C, you think is the last bad ship? Mantis, I think any of the Manta ships could go poorly. Mantis B and C are the two scary ones. <laughs> People say Manta C. I think Mantis B is actually scarier than Manta C because of fires and sector ones in your sector one in your doors in O2 that you can't outplay. So very low amount of beacons explored too. Yeah. So scrap, not amazing. Ships defeated, meh. Well, my friends, that is that is about five and a half hours, so I'm going to call a day there. I hope you had a good time. We'll do some more of this on Thursday, so if you need some more FTL Harbor no pause action in your life, come hang out on Thursday. Tomorrow we'll play some WoW. Wednesday and Friday are my recover from FTL craziness in WoW Hard Hardcore Classic, so come hang out for that if you want to. If you finish all the ships in the streak... Will you continue with ships you've already done? Yes, that's what you do in this thing, is you usually, uh... You see how far you can go. Keep randoming with no repeats afterwards. That will be the plan. So, my friends, as usual, thanks for all the support. The bits, the follows, the subs, the gift subs, lurking, the hanging out, all the awesome stuff you you all do, sports stream. Couldn't do without you awesome people. And I'm gonna go crash after a long day. So, y'all have a great night. Peace out, happy gaming. Enjoy the sea shanty. I will see you all tomorrow, Thursday, or whenever. Y'all rock. Have a great night. Later, all.